Hey, this is uh, Matt Filio with Fine Art by Matt Filio. Uh, here to show you a couple more acrylic glazing techniques in my studio. And today we're working on a 16 by 20 inch portrait. Um, this was actually inspired by a photograph I took of my wife and my daughter. Um, my daughter had had a little fall. She has fell and hit her head on the floor, but fortunately there was carpet beneath. But nevertheless, she, you know, didn't uh, like that very much. And my wife was comforting her on the couch and just holding her so close. And it was such a, a nice picture of um, comfort and security. And I, I want to capture that, you know, that tender moment of a mother's love and a child just absorbing that uh, security from the mom. And so. Yeah, and I really love the um, interplay between the warm colors of the interior lights and then the uh, cooler colors coming from the uh, outside going through the window and the door. So this is what I'm working on today and I'm going to be doing a little bit of glazing and layering work on my daughter's dress there. So let me set this back up and I've got a, a glaze here with little bit of burnt sienna and raw sienna and white and I want to warm this up just a little bit and uh, you know it's a little more opaque than some of my previous glazes on this painting but it's something that I can do now um, because I'm at a little farther stage I've got a little more pigment down and so we just roll this color right down. I don't know if you can see that. I'll kind of move out of the way. Um, just roll it right down. And you can still see the previous layers of detail beneath, which is really nice. Just one of the reasons I just love the glazing technique, and I, I love acrylic paint where you can do that. We just work this color right across, and uh, we're just filling in. So here it would be more, I wouldn't say almost like a coloring book, but I mean, you're just filling in the color evenly all the way across. Uh, we're not trying to add any highlights or nuances or anything at this point. We're just adding another layer of richness. I'm gonna see if I can pull off just a bit of that pigment there. But that'll be nice. Now that obviously doesn't match the color up here but I do see some of those tonalities in the picture um, where the incandescent light is illuminating the left side of the dress and it's a little bit warmer that's what I want to capture on this side and I'll be going back over this with some other glazes and we'll be getting some of the uh, cooler tonalities again on this side uh, that would be coming from the the uh, window light as well. Um, but I just, I love the acrylic glazing technique. I love the fact with acrylic that it dries so quickly. Um, and you can, you can do a portrait for a, a client and you can finish it and ship it out in the same day. Um, which is to me a great benefit. Although it is a little harder to blend with acrylic. Um, you can't obviously blend like you do with oils. Um, but the glazing technique really helps you to get smooth gradients and gives you a lot of um, flexibility. But anyhow, I hope you enjoyed this uh, quick painting session and these techniques. And uh, if you want to subscribe to my e-newsletter or my weekly painting tips, just go to mattfilio.com and go to the bottom of the home page and there's a sign up form for you there. And then you can get these techniques delivered right to your inbox and watch over my shoulder as I do paintings just like this. Uh, so anyway, uh, take care, have a Merry Christmas, and we'll see you again.